Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here on Nolly. How all my adventures doing? Hopefully you all are having a fantastic day. So uh, a little bit of editing is going on here. I'm going to be editing out the overworld part of this whole playthrough because you guys have seen it before. Tons of times, thousands of times if you played a lot of Grand Fantasia. So... All of that will be edited out, but I will do dungeon runs in its full entirety. So I'm going to be just yapping at the start of these videos, just like basically news. I talk about this later in the video during the dungeon run, but I was supposed to go through it in more detail here. But um, basically, I want the start of these Grand Fantasia videos to also be a little bit of news as well about the channel or anything going on with the channel. So first things first, um, game wise, Monster Girl Utopia going on, coming along very nicely, very smoothly. Everything is actually, uh, the only reason I missed like three days cause we made like a breakthrough through a lot of things and I was able to get some music going on and I was able to get uh mono back on the next Monster Girl, which I will show who it is when they are done with the sketch. I'm not going to rush that. Um, normally, when I get a sketch, I only show the sketch when it comes to the Monster Girls. I don't do anything else until like everything's fully done. So if the Monster Girl has like three evolutions, I don't show like all of the finished artwork for all three and two it is all done then once all three are done then i make the video for it showing all the full art with it so yeah that's normally how i end up doing this now when it comes to that but uh the song will be released um probably in nine or ten days probably so basically two weeks but yeah basically two weeks but yeah look forward to that that is for the first legendary of the game whenever we get to 3000 subs i'm not trying to rush there or anything it gives me enough time i say that's just about little goal for most people to get to who are interested in monster girl utopia anybody who's not interested in monster girl utopia can just overlook that that's not really like a goal towards you guys <laughs> as a this whole channel is mostly for my stuff, not really necessarily solely Grand Fantasia. It is largely Grand Fantasia for now, just because I play a lot of Grand Fantasia or played a lot of it. Just slowly getting back into it. We'll see if Grand Fantasia hooks me even longer, even after, you know, checking out all the private servers. As a I also do want to plan on uh, going back to indie games and horror games and stuff like that sooner or later. So I'm also practicing editing again. So I'm using Dragon's Dogma 2 as my little editing series, you know, trying out some new things there, here and there, just practicing. That's the best way you can like get better at editing is just pick a series, edit it up a little bit, you know, even if it doesn't turn out to be well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I'm at like 2,000 subscribers, you know. Even if I lose subscribers off of like shitty editing, I don't give a shit. I mean, I was like, as long as you're here for it, as long as you're like looking at YouTube from like more of a fun perspective and not for like just earning money because it shouldn't be trying to earn money in the first place. It's like just have fun, you know, meet new people, interact. No, like say it doesn't matter to me if I lose subs or anything. If I don't, I don't even care if I go back to a thousand. I'm still gonna be doing this for like more years, and even if I'm like an old ass man, <laughs> that's at least my plan. Unless life takes me out first, but you know, we'll we'll see how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, um, what's the girl Utopia is going on perfectly. Everything's going well. Uh, the second thing is, um, oh yeah, I was even talking about Monster Girl Utopia, but Monster Girl Utopia is going on fine. I'm doing the editing series. What else? There was something else. 
on this as well. Um, oh yeah. I'm gonna try and do some more editing for like different series. If this is on try. Excuse me, we'll see how that all goes. You know, say at the moment I'm not trying to rush anything. So after Dragon's Dogma 2. Well, actually, there's another game I want to play very soon, which is that uh crab game. Or is that a lobster? I think it's a crab. It's that little Dark Soul looking one that people have been talking about. I was like, I definitely want to try that sooner or later. But oh my god. Like I didn't expect like so many good games to come out to where it just locks me in to, to Gravitage. And I was just sitting here like, damn, dude, I started Gravitage at the wrong time. I started Gravitage like as soon as all the popular games came out that I actually enjoyed. Like that's actually annoying. As soon as you start like a series and you're locked into it, it's just like, hey dude, here here's a here's a new game. New game that I know you will enjoy. It's like, have fun with that. It's just like, God damn it. <laughs> I was say like, sooner or later, I'll just start streaming it again. Well, streaming a lot more. But at the moment, the weekends have been kind of plagued with different stuff. So that's that's also been a thing, is the weekends being plagued with, like, mostly... Me being busy, hanging out with family, um, hanging out with friends, you know, a little bit of more chilling with friends than, you know, trying to record and stream with friends and shit like that. I do want to do Lethal Company down the road with uh, friends, just like get a group of friends and just do Lethal Company. Because Lethal Company is something I've never touched, and I know a lot a lot of my friends have never touched it. So that's also another thing I do want to do down the road. I just don't know when. <laughs> I guess it's whenever I get done with these uh with this private service series and get back into the groove of everything. I do also want to change my mic. I was say I've been searching for the perfect audio. There's this raspiness in my voice I actually want to, like, kind of get out. But it t it takes so much, like, time to figure out the perfect, like, mic setting. To the point where I burn through, like, four hours instantly trying to check and do, like, mic recordings. I I've done it so many times that I, I burn through time. Like, it passes so much time. <sighs> okay, um, I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to talk about, actually. Let's see. Let's go. Da, da, da. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, other than the game currently right now, I'm about to say we've leveled up quite a bit. Uh, Plague Force really didn't give us, like, too much XP, but we, we leveled up quite a bit. I say it was actually like a lot of fun. There's actually some new skills that I will talk about once I get through with like Forest for a Druid that I think were recently added, which look interesting, but I, I don't think I've looked at their um hold on. I don't think I've looked at their patch notes because their patch notes have um uh... where are the patch notes those are patch notes yeah those are patch notes okay here are some patch notes because i i kind of curious if they just recently added it or, I, or have I been out of it that long and just never looked at it? Let's see.
Uh, destroy is druid. The ability to equip two weapons have been moved to dual wield. They're passive. Okay. Okay, so there's been some buffing. Well, no. There's been some nerfing going on for um, Shinobi. The change was... Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. Here it is. Here it is. Druid actually got a lot of new things. Um, I didn't even talk about this earlier but this this is brand new shit so wild evasion allows you to enter stealth while in combat uh there's something called wolf's fury one applies a certain amount of damage it had and had a chance to stun now wolf's fury has a hundred percent chance of stunning interesting then they have Fatal Bite, which gives, at max level, gives 30% physical defense drop and reduces the opponent's healing by 70%. If that can go on to a boss and reduce a boss that is really annoying at healing, that's fantastic. And Sprite Messenger duration. Has it been changed for four minutes to an hour? Wait, what sprite messenger? Wait, what? Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, that's still under. Oh, wait a minute. What? I didn't see that. Sprite Messenger, uh, one of our skills is now an hour buff, like, um, Saint. Hold on a second. Oh, dude, that's so nice. While I'm talking about this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna log back on and take a look at that. Because I know it's a high level skill. It's, it's when we actually hit Druid. After, uh, Shaman. Let's see. No, that's uh okay, no, that's the wrong skill I'm thinking of. This is Messenger Spirit. Wait, no, I think that... Okay, yeah, that is an hour. No, no, 42 seconds. Why did I say 42 minutes? So that was four minutes. No, it says this should be an hour. Did they not change it in game? Because that's what Sprite Messenger is. Spirit Messenger. Yeah, Messenger Spirit. <laughs> okay, they have two different names that are going on. Before and after. So they didn't change it in game. But they put it in the notes that it has changed. The patch notes that it has changed. Okay, that, that concerned me for a second. Because I was like so confused. I was saying like, wait a minute. That's not how that works, right? But yeah, they, they updated it. But they didn't like update the details of it in game. Uh, Dust Strike. Mm -hmm. 
wait a minute. Dust Strike has been changed from its normal uh, ticking to where it, after no longer has damage and limits the target to 100% speed. Okay, this is this is a PvP thing. That change changed this into a PvP spell. I don't I don't know about that. I feel like something else would have been like so much better. But then again, it well no no actually, it depends on the boss actually. It really depends on the boss. That you're going up against. Because some bosses actually have enough speed to keep up with you even at 200. If you can slow down a boss with that, that's actually very, very good. And once it's max level, it goes all the way up to, four, to 8 seconds. It goes from 2, 4, 6, 8. And not only that, our mastery for ape is now 2%. Yeah, 2% instead of uh, 1%. That's just been changed. Hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, some pretty neat changes. I say, like I said, I wasn't paying attention to that. That's that's very. Oh wow, they did a lot of changes. They even did changes for um, Warlock. Warlock has changed quite a bit as well. Uh, let's see. They're mostly. They're mostly buffs, to be honest. For a uh, warlock, I mean, it makes sense since warlock is, excuse me, is not never really used all that much. To be honest, now that I think about it. Oh, Shigigami got changed to where all your summons receive fifty percent of each stat of the summoner. God damn! Hold on a second. Okay, so that that feels like a massive buff for um for necromancers. I feel like a mega buff for necromancers. God damn, <laughs> that's actually pretty neat. All right, damn, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. All right, um, that with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and. Yeah, Shinobi got mostly nerfs. That's that's for sure. God damn. Got a lot of nerfs. Must have been doing too much damage. But yeah. With that said, I'm gonna go ahead and uh send you guys on to the dungeon. Said with that said, uh see you then. Alright, the yapping part of the session is over. Um so uh as I said at the start of the video, or more than likely we'll say at the start of the video, if I didn't I'm gonna say it now. I will be changing how I do things for this series. I'm not going to be editing everything out because I know you guys want to see it, quite a bit of it. But um, I will be, you know, talking a little bit over like the starting video, which will be me grinding the outside area. Then at the end of doing that area, I will be doing, I'll be doing dungeons. Oh, somebody reincarnated. Um, so reincarnation one. Yeah, it seems like it. But yeah, at the end of that little section of doing overworld, I will be doing the dungeon. So we just finished up Lake Forest, which really didn't take too long. Oh yeah, I still gotta. That's so annoying. I gotta put a new gorilla transformation. There we go. 
There is a new skill, though, that is actually extremely interesting. Because I, I'm... This is the first time I'm seeing, like, an actual ability being added instead of, like, edited. It's called Wild Evasion. I can go invisible at any time in combat. It doesn't matter... It doesn't matter if I'm inside of combat or outside of combat. I can just use this. And this is actually very, very, very OP for Druids. If you're solo, this is a basic get out of free gel card. A lot better than, um, what is it? That play dead skill. I think that's from uh, play dead skill, actually. That's what I want to say they did. Because it was kind of like, uh, yeah. Kind of like Fate. But I think they did edit the get out of free card to be a new ability for us. Now that I'm actually thinking about it. This skill is strong as shit. Free get out of jail, free card. Um, Free doesn't really increase anything, does it? No, it doesn't. So what, is the, what would be the point of getting three? Because we know it's not level based. And we know we can invisible through basically anything. To be honest, you can stealth through a whole dungeon with this because it has no damage reduction at all. Druid just became extremely fucking strong in this game. Well, inside of, um, Gravitation of Violet. <laughs> Which is interesting, though, because it's actually really cool that we have this ability. If they are changing abilities, you know, reworking them and stuff like that, I, I definitely am curious to see what they're going to do, because Wild Evasion just piqued my interest a lot, because that's, like, one of our main bread and butters as a druid. Now it's making me think, can I use Nightfall along with Wild Evasion? Because you also got to think about it too. When you're invisible, you reset aggro as well. So as somebody with high DPS, you could just randomly use this and it's just like, okay, you take this instead. That's, that's basically a detachment without the whole, hey, you lost all your mana now. Good luck. But I am still Sage, though. That is another thing I gotta remember. So that, oh no, Escape Trace is still here. This is still here. So no, they didn't re, they didn't revamp this. It is still there. Oh, that's interesting. They also have another skill that I saw. Yeah, Fatal Bite. Fatal Bite seems like it can be very, very damn strong. Plus, it also gives Wolf form another, and I do mean another form of DPS. Because now, once we get up to here, we're going to have Wolf Bite. as well so that's like an extra rotation yeah that's like an extra step of rotation because you'll also have this which is you know bleed i wouldn't really say it's bleed because it's not treated as bleed it's just dot damage because bleed does something else we've figured out from um druid no not from druid ranger from the official server the official server has a bleed effect on the ranger class it is a lot different i'm not really sure what um the official server's been up to since i've been gone again but yeah it's it's interesting to see like all these new interesting changes have been changed 
this hasn't been changed. Okay. So nothing changed. Most mostly added. It is kind of like if they're able to add things like this, there's a chance they they could be able to add like a whole new reincarnation phase of their own little skills too. Not only that, they can. Well, hey, yeah, they can do a lot of stuff. Name was it Dizzle, Dazzle, something like that. It's like an old third-person shooter. It just reminded me of. But um, we are going to Ancient Forest because we're gonna. Okay, my bad. Been yapping. Part will be un. Will be unedited. Uh, what was I last say? Red Ridge? Okay. Invisible anytime just by like one bite invisible. You can a lot of morale, of like malice. That is, that's also a reason I want like a malice meter, man. A malice meter would be great for Grand Fantasia. Malice meter and DPS meter will help you juggle a boss instead of, you know, you taking full aggro. If you take full aggro, then it's just basically over at that point. Oh, shit. Yeah. Is he up right now? I wouldn't expect him to be up on this server, on this channel, because uh, there's a lot of playing. And there's been a lot of like, war boss hunters at the moment. Oh, there he is. Never mind. I just hear somebody port. That, that sucks that they needed that. It's only funny because thank God I was there. I was sitting here like, wait a minute. And then I gotta go to Jessica after this. Alright. World boss slain. And here we go. Uh, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to go back and. Let's uh, get rid of a lot of this stuff. That has no value. We're gonna keep the lighter stuff because, um, well, no, because I'm gonna have to replace my sprite soon. I'm gonna have to replace all my sprites soon because I'm about to out level the hell out of them. Because we're almost level 50 to where we have to buy a new sprite. Most of this stuff. Let's say we have too much.
thankfully right now druid doesn't seem to be mana hungry only because we're killing way too fast that, that's the only mindset i have with that i think we're killing way too fast for it to even be a detrimental thing uh unlimited let's go ahead and grab this oh yeah um old old island just came up too so that's also another thing we're we have on the list. Uh, we can hide this. Uh, this shouldn't take too long, considering that we should be pretty strong. Oh, yeah, and plus we still have that. That's actually pretty nice, too. Ooh, let's not do that, because you still have to bring up your stuff. As a we're gonna find a scavenging sprite that's the real question and yeah, we're definitely gonna put this on because like I've said this they finally changed it never mind I see it now oh no no okay I read it wrong one seated will activate Eh, I wish they would change that into just like a passive region instead. It probably is, and it's probably like just very unnoticeable. Yeah, you're over there. But the real question is, I go grab that quest. <laughs> why I was why I think this was in here? Oh yeah, lands. Well, at least I have the world. Um. Oh shit! It's about to say at least I have ancient saved. So that's actually not too bad. So let's go grab that quest right quick, then we'll just teleport back. There's going to be some pretty good XP out of there, though. So we'll probably be level 50 by the end of that. Oh, yeah. Um, I also checked um, the official server's progress up to this point. When I entered Pla uh, Plague Forest inside of the official server, I was level 38. And finishing that area, I ended up being level 38. 44. So, obviously, the times 5 XP does help. Which is fan freaking tastic. That XP didn't come from, um, didn't come from, uh, ancient. Most of that XP did not come from Black Forest at all. Most of that XP came from. This, which was basically just using O alchemy. Oh yeah, we can, we're gonna get XP out of that too. And it was from the missions inside of a uh, plague forest. I think plague forest. So yeah, dungeons, dungeons level fast if you're just. If you're just hooked on leveling as fast as you There we go. Okay, now we have the quest we needed. All right. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, we're going this way. I still have yet to change or upgrade it or anything. Mostly because I don't need to at the moment. The reason I don't need to really is just because it. it we have blessing. Blessing kind of not all the way, but you know it kind of makes up for it. Ooh, okay, maybe the AP might be good enough to where to go very quickly. Still can't stop stunning now. Oh yeah, we're gonna level decently fast in here. Not gonna lie, it definitely does feel good to be to be able to solo dungeons again. Oh, I'm gonna try and do the whole hundred dollar thing. Maybe, maybe two weeks from now, a week or two. Right now, I am, I am drained of Moolah at the moment. <laughs> Working on my game. I think I talked about that at the start of this uh, video. If, if not, I'll, I will talk about about it more in depth because I normally want to open up my videos with news around the channel. That's at least my thought process right now, is opening up my videos with news of things that are going on on the channel. So I'm going to try and refrain from repeating myself. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to miss out on the XP now because I'm out outside the level. Oh, it was the, the dinos that were giving me XP anyway. Thing is, if you feel like you're in a panic, you just boom. Everything just leaves you alone. That's what I mean about wild evasion is like very strong. Not only that, I would say, look at this cooldown. This cooldown is insane too. Oh, whoops. Got to put. Oh, I thought I put it back. Does ambush not come back up? I could have sworn ambush came straight back up. Because I was invisible. I've tried this before. I should be able to ambush again. Oh, wait a fucking minute. Wait. Why why did he get left with that HP? Okay, that that's a bug. Man, this would be great if I had a minion to play around. Ah. Stop stunning me, please. See this activity your behavior. Turn, do my gorilla idea and just run through this. I would have been stunned for years. Am 
I'm actually surprised that barely any weapon has been drive dropping out of all this. I was saying, I haven't seen a single one yet. Did you drop You don't drop the meat still. my pace is great. I gotta remember that I'm locked out for a certain amount of time for animation, so I shouldn't just be jamming the hell out of it. It's like a real game with this with this game. Stun me, aren't you? I would say, you ass. Okay, and I should have enough for that quest. I ever feel like I'm losing. Huh? Wait a minute. Is that scaling right? Wait a minute. Why don't I feel like that defense is scaling right? Defense again, because half the game is defense. And plus, I already have a lot of built in magic resist for Druid. God, I want to hurry up and get my uh, my talents. get my uh, form talents because we still have some more talents we gotta see
much. Oh yeah, we're about to be level 50. That was funny. I never do uh, haunted nightmare shit or anything. Because I think it was like annoyingly complicated. Oh, they didn't change the rewards, Sag. They did add more gold though. The only thing they did. Alright. Yeah, we're level 50. Sooner or later, we're gonna have to go back and do mutated, um, very cave. For our, uh, yellow weapon. See how that goes. Form DPS, max out your crit chance. You don't need crit damage, crit chance is the only really important thing there. You do a lot of PPE content with just crit chance. What is that? Oh yeah, the flesh shooting worm. All the way down there. Oh yeah, I can go through here too. Uh, I designate boss. Only the golem and the worm does. If I remember correctly, the demon is a choice. that because I'm not using a uh, bird form right now or a human form. The heal and uh guy's nature combo is mostly used for if you were like struggling. So stun heal stun heal. That's really the times you want to use it. If you're not struggling at all, wolf form or bird form will help you through pretty much everything. Human form and gorilla form are your best forms of like one-on-one -on -one battles. I would personally say gorilla form because gorilla form is a lot more tanky. Why human form has a lot of abilities that can support themselves yourself but you have to have very high cast time for that to work out for you else right i kind of want to go see it but i don't but uh song isn't off cooldown so i guess i'll go look at it after
I like what every like both private servers are doing so far. Doing a lot of unique stuff, doing their own like add-ons and shit like that. I will say this, from what I'm seeing, Memories has been advancing like crazy. Like they've been going at it. I'm proud of them, man. I, I you love to see it. I do gotta go check the official server because, like I said, I have not looked at it in like I don't know how long now. They probably could have something new. Oh. Something I'm just. Gonna... Uh, this way. I'm still getting a decent amount of XP in here to where it's worth killing everything. The only thing that I don't think Fatal bike has is it adds a charge point i don't think it adds a charge point no it does not it does not add a charge point but it does decrease defense so you can do more damage which is always fantastic like 30 percent like late game is fantastic That's also another thing, like wild, oh god, wild instinct, well evasion, wild invasion, because um, aggro as a healer, you can just transform to wolf form immediately at your point, aggro off yourself. That that's that's something I uh I just thought about. I think that's a crazy ability. And for it to have like that's a crazy duration. At just one usage. The question is, will you be able to... Huh, will you be able to use any other ability while you're in here? Because it doesn't say anything else. I think they're missing a little bit of more extra details of like if you do certain such and such as in this. We're using it. But I guess we can really test it once we get a um, nightfall.
I wonder what other new skills they have, because there's no way they've only just touched, uh, Druid. Made a I say, I look through them, it, it didn't seem it, or I, well, I gotta remember that I, I that I only play Druid. <laughs> I only really play Druid. So it's very hard for me to tell if there is a new ability for other classes. Because all I know is true. You have this I was I was wondering. I was like, wait a minute, these guys definitely have it, right? I just kept using the magic debuff. Oh, if so I can get to 52. It really won't take much longer before we get to 60. So I should be good. Uh, so I'm gonna take it like at a slow pace with like Dragon's Dogma too because um I really want to get better at editing. So feedback is always uh the Dragon's Dogma videos. That's all going to be my editing. Since most of you guys who have stuck with it, with this series so far, enjoy more of unedited. Uh... I got to this fortune. I was wondering, like, it's like, why am I not hitting? I was like, killing that boss early. Because, like I said, I don't, I don't think that boss has um, a quest. He's just there. If he does, I can just go back and I can show you guys the power of stealth druid. <laughs> I do want to get the extra XP here, so I really don't want to leave any enemies behind. Especially why I said. I just want to get as much out of it as I can. Still got two minutes. Hell yeah. Plus, we want to get at least one level in the overworld. So killing everything does help. Cause I have very limited time. Yeah, I was about to say. Ah, there goes the uh, key, which we don't need. Ow. 
Ah, that's that is definitely a lot of damage. If you could never fucking do that again, that'd be great. Oh god, I'm stuck. It's annoying. I'm trying to not get the key goblin into this fight because the key goblin actually has debuffs for me. If I hit him. Okay. That should be all of them. That should be everything. I gotta keep an ear out. I'm also tapping just to make sure I don't randomly lock on anything. Yep, okay, I was right. The demon. Whoops. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. You disable. Oh yeah, sad. Like a straight up AoE. I say you can't really outrun it. Just have to get get RNG and have, make sure you don't use it constantly. damage than my wolf form right now because don't have a good wand or good staff at the moment. Plus I get to kill myself as well. be that much of an asshole and just also add regen on it. Okay, which one of these?
Fuck it. <laughs> Takes way too long. And I deal like 2k. I just got to wait it out. You can use that skill as long as you don't exhaust me. There we go. That has been all right. We're done with that. Um, okay, that's the thing. Oh, and it actually shows the buff. <laughs> what like collection buff you have as well. I like that. I like that a lot. I was playing for, playing for a long while to be able to collect all that. Let's just hope that they're as... The costumes are as easy <laughs> to get as um, memory is. I actually like those glasses a lot. They actually look very... Very nice. Well, I did like it before I saw the little bun. Never mind. <laughs> Not a huge fan of the bun, but I do like this armor. And that's rare for me to like male armor. I mean, I liked it before I saw like the little flaps in the back. It actually looks neat. But anywho, um, yeah, let's go. Let's go check out a few quests that we got. Oh yeah, I gotta turn in those quests. Forgot about that. Okay, so we got those. Those won't give us XP since we all. So we see what we get out of that. Oh. I'll take it. Now I'm thinking about it. In my head, I kinda. This is just a thought. I might do. Graphitasia craft tomorrow. Just, just have two series going because I'm not sure how long that server could be up. You know, because like I said, left and right, Graphitasia servers go either go up, go down, go up, go down. It's mostly due to popularity. Anytime soon, considering it has like a thousand people. But I just want to make sure to, you know, at least look at it before... Before it actually does changes. <laughs> nucleus. Nucleus. Give me Nucleus. Okay, you just get... Just gonna say fuck you. You don't get nucleus. All right, fine, fine. Don't give me nucleus then. I didn't want it anyway. Oh, ill. He's fucking out of my bag. Those seeds have messed up so much of my farming. Trying to get a freaking item instead aren't you happy about that <laughs> oh no that was it are you kidding me huh 
I thought there was going to be more to that. But okay. Okay then, dude. Okay. None of these are really for me. Never mind. Oh, shit. Okay, I'll take it. Fuck yeah. Um, somehow we have uh, the next... The next next dungeon of that. We also have this dungeon to do, too. That's also a thing. Fuck, man. <laughs> Because Plague Forest goes into nothing, actually, if I remember correctly. Plague Forest goes into nothing. Because then this is the these two are the next big level spikes. Is guy in uh that. No, wetlands is. Okay, never mind. Because I'll go here to wet no, not to wetlands. Huh. Let's go get our new skills, because I know we have some. God, it feels good. It feels great to be able to get skills without having to put my life savings into <laughs> Man. Was that suffering, having to put all my life savings. And just, just to get skills. It's, it's so unfair for Druid, man. It's so unfair for Druid. Because <laughs> we have so many more costly skills. Think about the druids. To all the private servers, think about the druids, please. We need love too, <laughs> I swear. Please. curious to see what the level 90 forms look like because they got new names. Or is it new names? I don't think they are. No. I was thinking of something else. I don't think they're going to ever like change like how forms look. I don't think they're willing to experiment on what I... I don't think they're willing to experiment. Just fine. Make an image. What you guys want them to be. I bet most of you guys didn't know this was back here. I like this one a lot. But yeah. That is pretty much it. Uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'll say if I don't see you tomorrow, I'll, I'll see you the next day. <laughs> but hey, if I don't play Violet, I will probably play um, Grand Fantasia Craft and see how that is and start going back and forth between them, you know, getting as much details as I as I can because like I said sooner or later I do want to go into indie games again and horror stuff like that but I do want to keep up with like each server though 
even the official server along with it just to see everything that goes on. Speaking of official server, before we actually go off, I guess we can try and take a quick peek. Oh yeah, they're freaking keep forgetting that their little uh, front page of their launcher is, is cooked right now. It is not doing what it's supposed to do. Because the whole exp uh, okay, there was a new update today. Uh, say so there hasn't been any new updates, but there's a new update today. Let's see. Oh, they're going through anniversary. Which anniversary is it? They didn't even say what anniversary it was. But okay. Uh, they got some new costumes. They're doing something with treasure. With the treasure maps. Let's see. Archive update. Closing. Event. Closing. The tr Mirage trial. Laser event. Okay, other events. Event, event. I see opening Mother's Day event and opening Sprite game events. So just a lot of events going on right now. Nothing like truly all that special. Huh. These new dogs. I think they're new dolls. I think. Yeah, there's a new mammoth doll that you can craft. And refine. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, not not too much. They haven't really been too loud on too many on the updates at the moment for the official server. But yeah, that's that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, you guys have a lovely day. Peace out.